The acting industry can be very competitive, with many actors often vying for the same jobs. One of the best ways to stand out against the competition is with a polished and well-formatted CV. If you follow these instructions, you can make sure your CV is written to an industry standard. Start by writing your full name. To make it stand out, write it in bold in a size 28 font. Next, write down the name and contact information of your agent or manager. When you're just starting out in the industry, you might not have representation yet. So if this is the case, simply state that you're a freelance actor. Now to add your personal contact details. The best details to add are your mobile phone number and email address. There's not really any need to put your home address as casting directors probably won't want to contact you via snail mail. Rather than simply stating your current age, it's a good idea to put your age range. This refers to the age range of characters you think you would be suited to portray based on your appearance. For instance, if an 18 year old has a large bushy beard, they might be more suited to play older parts. Meanwhile, another 18 year old who is clean shaven might be more suited to younger roles. You'll also want to add your personal measurements because factors such as height can definitely affect your suitability for roles. Now it's time to write about your training. This could include any acting courses that you've completed or workshops you've attended. You should write these down in reverse chronological order with your most recent training at the top. Then you should write down all your key past experiences in the industry. This list is a major selling point of the CV, so keep it detailed, relevant and to the point. Again, list the experiences in reverse chronological order, and if you like, you could also group them in categories based on different areas. The final part of the document is a list of other special skills you might have that may be relevant to the role you're applying for. This will give casting directors a brief snapshot into your life and personality outside of the acting world. While they might seem a bit inconsequential, these little morsels of info can actually be very helpful to people casting specialized roles. For example, if you're auditioning for a western, it might help if you can ride a horse. <laughs> now it's time to organize your headshot. If possible, it's a good idea to have your headshot taken professionally in a studio environment. However, if you don't have access to this kind of environment and you want to take the photo yourself, here are a few things to keep in mind. The image should frame your head and shoulders, well lit against a neutral or blank background. The headshot should be a good representation of what you actually look like. So try not to wear excessive layers of makeup or touch up your appearance in Photoshop. If you're still in school, do not use your school photo. While these photos are professionally taken, the presence of your school uniform can cause you to get typecast in school-based roles. If you're taking your headshot on your phone, do not take a handheld selfie. If you'd like some tips on how to use your phone's camera more professionally, you can find them in another of our tutorial videos about self-taping auditions. Regardless of what type of camera you're using, you'll want to take photos of yourself in a variety of poses. You don't have to take too many, but it's ideal if you can grab a happy, neutral and more serious headshot. You can then swap out the photo depending on what role you're applying for. Now you should create a high quality A4 print of your headshot and attach it to the CV with a paper clip. In case the print somehow goes missing, you should also add a small thumbnail image of your headshot onto the CV itself. You can put this at the top of the page besides your name and contact information. And there you have it. If you followed these steps correctly, you should have a well formatted and professional CV ready to help jumpstart your career in the acting industry. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the MBCTA and Australian College of Dramatic Arts YouTube channel for more videos.